if you are looking at do more with what you have and you think your people are innovative and creative and empowered and trustworthy, you're going to get a fully different response with that than the let's see how much money we can save. And then business life cycle, guys. So if you are a scrappy company that's trying to figure out how to put together its first five million in annual versus a super mature established company that's already rocking hundreds of millions a year, those are two totally different camps, right? So being wide open and being innovative and collaborative and creative, probably need to do that to get from zero dollars to five million. Once you start rocking hundreds of millions of dollars a year, you're thinking about cost protection, cost savings, risk mitigation. You're thinking about a totally different playbook around how you're building and, and leading your company. Do more with what you have of your customer feedback and reusing that. So reuse the content, repurpose it, make an ask once from a customer for feedback, interview, and use it five different ways. Put it on social, put it into a blog, do an interview, yep. record a podcast, all of it. Um, there's the old mindset of you need to make one ask for one permission for one thing. No, make one ask and use it multiple again, ways. Again, reuse again. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reuse it. Totally. We've heard the phrase being data rich and insights poor. You've done all this asking, you've got all this data, and Maybe you're only using a portion of it. Maybe you're not using any of it, which is a shame. You know, the lines in research and in, uh, in, in marketing were always pretty clear. You never did research to sell something, okay, in the past. There was clear demarcation, associations outlining. I mean, basically it was called sugging, you know, selling under the guise of research, right? So now those lines are blurred. Screw that playbook. You know, I, I got someone here that said oh, they are whatever. I'm I'm on them. You know, like like you know, really quick. And some of that fast reaction to just getting money off the customer is turning. I think turns people off. If you really do understand what you've got and how the customer looks at it from the outside in, there's a lot of things that you don't have to necessarily do that you do in a company. Uh, that are not positively impacting or just are neutral. So you can essentially shave around the edges there and save some, some time, some money, and it doesn't impact anybody. The bottom of the iceberg never gets trimmed. It's always uh, those poor salespeople. The, the dynamics between a relationship with a company is much more complex because, you know, it's not just a customer and a company and, you know, however you want to define the company, but there's these employees that are factored into it. Ooh. And all three of them are battling um, for their own personal gain. I mean, let's face it, you don't have loyalty to a grocery store because, oh, well, their, their, their logo is awesome. No, your loyalty is because you feel you're getting something out of that relationship. And, you know, same thing goes with the employees and goes with, you know, the leadership of that organization, the people that invest in that company to bring that service to you. Everyone feels like they need to be able to get something out of it. Why don't you look at what you have and say, what can these people do for us? Can't we train them better to interact better with humans, especially as we push people, you know, for the self-checkout, you need to have specialized people that can say, I can help you with that problem. And I know that you're going to have that problem. You have to balance those two factors against, Hey, can we cut some, cut some costs and make some money in the hiring thing is so important. Fast food experience. Yeah, it's probably the worst place to work, right? Chick-fil-A experience versus, I don't know, Burger King focused on helping the customer have mm -hmm. a good experience versus let's just sell this stuff. Knowing what the brand promise is, you know, people who are down in the front facing organizations sometimes have no idea about what the company is attempting to do or stand for and, and how are they be able to articulate that. Yep.